The first use case we're going to look at is creating isochrones or catchment areas based on the travel time. And the example here is looking at dark kitchens that we have across London and trying to work out what the catchment areas of these combined kitchens is so we can see which customers we can serve. So we've already loaded into Pro a layer of, of points for the dark kitchens. And we're going to use the Travel Time Platform toolbox on the right hand side. So we go into the Simplified Tools and we open up the Time Map Simple Tool. We choose the layer of points, a travel mode. So there are a number of different travel modes supported, but here we're going to look at cycling areas. We pick our time zone, so we're in London, and we're going to choose departure times. We know that our peak times are on a Friday evening, so we select this as our departure time. And we're going to look at a 10 minute journey time. We could choose to see all these isochrones individually, but actually here we want to combine them into one total catchment area. And then we hit run. So this is going to create these isochrones and then combine them to give us the total overall catchment area that we can serve from these dark kitchens. And here we have it as a new layer added into Pro. Now the next thing we want to do is actually to look at what would happen if we opened another dark kitchen. But we don't know exactly where we want this to be yet, so we don't have a new point layer. So instead, we're going to use the travel time toolbar at the top, and we're going to use the quick time map tool over here. So we make sure it's selected, open up the configuration. And what this lets us do is really quickly configure some parameters and then create isochrones without having to add a new point there. So we'll choose cycling. We'll just do one 10 minute isochrone. And then we'll simply click where we might open a new store. As you can see, we've now added a new isochrone into the map. Maybe we open one more site down here and one more up in North London. And as you can see, these have now been added as new layers and you can see the impact on our total coverage across London.